Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on uh, Power Mill 5-axis tutorial. And in this video, we are going to cover one of the 5-axis strategy called projection point finishing. It is very much useful for uh, spherical shaped jobs with some undercuts. So in this example, we have an, have an handle and uh, in this one, uh, we do have an undercut also. So using this example, we are going to generate a projection point finishing. At the same time, we are under the tool axis page. We do have uh, control points like from point and towards point. So in this example, we are using towards point. Okay. So let's quickly go and pick the strategy here. In this case, projection point finishing is one of the five axis strategy. And if you look at the tab here, we got selected the tool here under the point projection page. Uh, under the style, you have three options, spiral, circular, and radial. Uh, in this case, uh, for this example, I'm using a spiral. And uh, the next one, it is asking for the location of the um, spherical shaped form actually. So that means, uh, if I put 0, 0, 70 mm here, so for your information, my uh, work plane is exactly x, y, 0 and z at the bottom of the uh, 3D model, actually. So if you put 70 mm here, and I will preview it, so let us uh, discuss on this, actually. So as I said, it will form a spherical shape. Uh, in this case, it's a sem spherical. So it will form this kind of shape. Uh, in this location, 0, 0, 70 mm. So as my job is uh, only uh, simple shape, I put 0, 0, 70 mm. If this shape is available in different location, you can input that particular location in XYZ page. So the next one is projecting inwards. There are two options. In this case, it is inward. That means uh, there is a spherical form is available. In this one, you are going to project the tool inverse actually so whatever the 3d model available inside it is going to be project okay and you do have angular step over you can give it there and the next one is pattern and the pattern again you do have sphere spherical and uh, circular and radial and clockwise anti-clockwise and the another limit function option available here is from where to where you want to control under the elevation angle so in this case, 0 to 90 degree means if you put preview, so this is what the form looks like. So you can see that the spherical form like this. So if you put 45 degree here and preview it, you can see my uh, spherical center is here. So my horizontal line will is here actually. But as we input 45 degree to 90 degree, so if you draw a line here, so this is 45 degree until 90 degree, it is going to generate the tool path. So wherever it is going to project, in this area only, it will get generated. At the same time, you put zero to 45 degree, preview it, and you can see this is zero degree. And if you draw a line, this is 45 degree, and it will be like this. And there will not be any tool path generation over the top region, actually. You can able to control like this, from where to where you want to generate the tool path. So in this example, I put zero degree to 90 degree. And uh, under the tool axis, as I said earlier, we are using towards point. Using this uh, point projection finishing tool path strategy, we do have an another option called from point. We will see in the next uh, example. But we can use some other three axis strategy also. And you can pick this uh, tool axis actually fr from point or towards point. Okay, so in this case, it is towards point and uh, it is asking again some location. What does it mean actually? If you go to the front view again, okay, my spherical center is, uh, as I said, it is 70 mm, okay, right? It is here. If you look at the wireframe, it is here actually, okay, 70 mm. And this location, 0, 0, 50 mm is the controlling the tool axis point actually. So th in this case, it is 50 mm. So if you uh, check, enable this checkbox here, draw tool axis, 
you can able to find a red point here actually so this is your control point 50 mm okay so what does it mean it will always uh, it will always try to point the tool axis towards this point actually it will try to we are going to control towards this point so how much you want to tilt based on this point only okay let us calculate this one and we will see how it is going to generate okay you can see that it create the tool path even under the undercut area and if you go and select the simulation point it always try to bend towards this point actually okay based on the point even if you select this area it will try to move towards that one and if you select from here it will towards from here actually it's a very good uh, tool axis tool path generation mainly for uh, spherical shaped with some undercut actually okay let us go and create one more one actually in this case uh, go to settings copy the tool path so in this case i change the tool axis to 70 mm okay so 70 mm means it will little bit up okay it is moved up here and calculate so what it is happening here again you can see that if you select from here it's almost flat almost horizontal actually tool is actually so wherever is the point is there it try to uh, face towards that point the tool axis always points towards the point actually so if you look from here okay so it towards from here actually so there is some differences between two uh, points in the tool axis 50 mm and 70 mm you can control the tool axis uh, using that uh, tool axis page actually and the coordinate system 00 50 or 70 we had whatever we had given actually at the same time you can use uh, a surface finishing tool, tool path also as i said um, you can use another uh, tool path strategy uh, by using the control point similar like that so it's a pure surface finishing strategy okay there is no uh, projection point page and all but in this case you select the surface and preview it immediately so i give the step over so if you can see that immediately it is going to be create like this okay if you would like to change the pattern go to the pattern and say v and surface so it will going to generate like this so preview function is mainly important so you can tick the uh, spiral but in the tool axis page the same way we are going to do it actually towards point 0, 0, 0070 okay if you calculate so you can use some other strategy also which is shoots to you but you have to uh, use towards point for the spherical shaped jobs actually or with undercuts so this is how it works okay so towards point under the tool axis page what we had covered uh, in this video so we used either used uh, a yeah, 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 point projection strategy or a surface finish strategy actually you can see that the similar fashion you can do it actually so it, you can select anywhere and it will always point towards that point actually so in the next video we will cover on from point actually Thank you. Bye.